bene. That means hello in my language. My name is Sacagawea. I grew up in the Rocky Mountains in an area now known as Idaho. My father was the chief of a tribe called the Shoshone. We hunted buffalo for food and we moved around a lot. When I was only 12 years old, I was kidnapped by a tribe called the Hidatsa Indians and I moved to North Dakota. You may have heard of the explorers Meriwether Lewis and William Clark. I met them in 1804 when they arrived in North Dakota to set camp for the winter on their expedition to explore the land west of the Mississippi River after the Louisiana Purchase. They hired my husband to interpret for them for various Indian tribes. Eventually they decided that I should come along as well even though I was about to have a baby because Lewis and Clark needed to communicate with the Shoshone Indians in order to purchase horses and my husband did not speak Shoshone. That winter, I gave birth to my son, Jean-Baptiste, and just a few months later in the spring, we set out on our expedition. Our journey was often difficult. Sometimes we ran low on food, other times members of our party got sick, and other times we were unprepared for the extreme hot and cold temperatures we encountered. One time, while sailing down a river, our boat almost tipped over and we almost lost some of our supplies but I was able to save them. Because of this, Lewis and Clark named the river after me. Indian tribes that might not have been friendly to Lewis and Clark otherwise greeted them peacefully because we had a woman and child in our party. I was also helpful to Lewis and Clark because I knew how to gather food and I was able to guide them through the Rocky Mountains to the Yellowstone River since I had grown up there. When we finally reached the Shoshone tribe, I was shocked to find that my brother had become the chief of the Shoshone. It was a very sweet reunion. We were able to trade horses with them and continue on our journey. At last, the journey ended at the Pacific Ocean and I was able to see the ocean for the first time. I even saw a beached whale. The journey was difficult sometimes, especially with the young baby, but Lewis and Clark benefited greatly from my help. And without them, I never would have seen the ocean or been reunited to my brother.